Hey folks, Dr. Groovy Scott Grove, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Yeah, I'm here hanging out on the lower level. Why am I down here? Why is my tripod down here? I was running out of flipping batteries, and that's all the further the cord will reach, and I didn't feel like grabbing an extension cord. Simple as that. So you get to stare at my nose again and think I have a booger. No, it's a deviated septum. Don't know what it is? Look it up. Okay. Lick my fingers so my cactus pick will stick. I know it's just habit now. I like to lick everything to make it feel good and taste good. Okay, today, as you read up above, is the USA Made PV Predator Axe. Uh, somebody goes, I've been calling it the AX all the time. Well, you can if you want, but it's called the Axe. Uh, mine is just Fiesta Red, or whatever you would want to call it. Uh, pawn Shop Find. Um, as most of these are and you see the uh, pickup covers they are mimicking everything that was around at the time uh, 1997 the year of this the actual axe started in 1993 uh, 97 was the last year for Fender to use uh, lace sensors on their guitars so they were kind of copying the lace sensor thing or maybe even EMGs at the time by doing this Okay, you see one, two, three, four coils. What are they? That's a single coil. That's a single coil. The This is a pseudo humbucker, just kind of like a lace sensor did. They didn't really make humbuckers. Don Lace didn't. Even if you saw the dualies, they were actually two single coils, which I know that's what a humbucker is. But um, they were still totally independent of each other. Um... The switch right here, actually, if you have it up this way, it's a three-way switch. Have it up. You have single coil, the one closest to the bridge. In the middle is both coils in a humbucking or a hum-canceling mode. They call it humbucker, but it's actually, there's a difference between hum-canceling and humbucking. I know it means down near the same thing, but it's different, okay, because these are two completely different pickups. Next is the ill-fated turbo mode it bypasses the regular five way which is wired up like any strat and goes to shit what's it supposed to do it's always done the same thing with every guitar i've had of these axes that go to turbo mode it takes all the uh, everything out of everything and it just turns the volume down and it gets real thin so if that's turbo i don't want it <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's been that I've had a bunch of these, a whole bunch of these, and they sound great as long as you leave them in either single coil or humbucker mode, but you throw it in turbo mode, and it goes, it should be called turd, turd o mode, like a turdo caster, because <laughs> it goes to total crap. Anyway, um, let's see what's going on as you guys stare at this beauty. It actually is an amazing guitar, as all PV USA guitars always have been. Um, what are the specs on this particular one? Okay, the body is Western Poplar. So it was popular in the West. Okay. I know. Bad joke. Everybody makes the same one. Uh, bisexual neck. No, bilaminated rock maple neck with a steel torsion rod. Okay. You guys tell me what a torsion rod is instead of a, uh, truss rod. Okay, master volume, master tone. Okay, your turbo switch. Position one is single coil. That is up towards you. In the middle, it's supposed to be a humbucker. Supposedly. Three is turbo mode. And they all they say is that it bypasses this five-way, which it definitely does. It, so it completely gets rid of, like that's not even in the circuit anymore. And it's supposed to send, honestly, it's supposed to send this past everything and straight to the jack. But it doesn't. <laughs> it never has. Okay. Let's take it right to that. Um, let's check out the clean tone real quick with everything sounding beautiful with everything in single coil. Now we're going to go down and put that in humbucker. We've still got the middle single coil on. Let me turn, 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 turn this to suit my needs, to better suit my mood, as Rob Thomas would say. Okay, so we've got this one. 
So that's both single coils, the bridge, bridge one, not this one. Now we're going to turn on the humbucker, as they call it, with it. So now we've got this one and both of these. Now I know what you need to do to hear it. Hear just this one back here, then split it to humbucker. You ain't going to hear much of a difference. You really won't. So bridge pickup, I'm going to put it in a single coil, and I'll play... Then I'll play something else. I'll show you each time I flick it down. When I go down like that with my hand, that's supposed to be humbucker. When I go back up, it's supposed to be single. Okay? Those are your plain signals. So here we go in single coil all by itself at the bridge. Ready to hear turbo? Okay, I'm going to go from humbucker to turbo. It's in humbucker right now. I know there's really no use for the pickup unless they're just not working right. Um, today is actually the first day I've plugged it in. I plugged it in five minutes ago, and I've had it around, around here for a bit. I haven't plugged it in until just a minute ago to tune it. Okay, so it's still got like 1869 strings on it and whatever. Okay, so here's humbucker. Here you go, we're going right into the turbo mode. And when I go down like this, you'll hear it. It's just it's just funny. Okay, turbo. Humbucker to turbo. <laughs> Hold on to your panties, grandma. Ain't that amazing? That's turbo right there. Now single coil. Now humbucker. Now turbo. Any difference? I didn't think so either. Okay, so. But all of a sudden, I uh, put it there and who knows. So I'll check out the wiring and see what's going on. But um, just great feeling axes as they always have been, always will be, and always were heavy duty on the uh, saddle blocks here so those are nice they're just like almost like the uh, um, strap pluses and so forth so that's basically what they went after I think you got 22 frets instead of 23 uh, PB was big with 23 frets um, the typical okay we have the clo enclosed tuners um, they usually let me see hey they actually put the uh, serial number on the right way this time so everything's upside down they used to put everything on upside down so you could read it when you flipped it over weird um who knows what the nuts made of it didn't tell me a uh, shitty string tree but they are great axes that's why they put axe on the headstock <laughs> but no they really are um normally superb axis i will get under the hood and if there's any amendment to be made to this uh, as far as this whole set of pickups um we'll check it out i was doing the uh you know magnetic pickup test and while it's in humbucking mode um, let me turn off my microphone So I'm only hearing one of them on and supposed to humbucking. Put it in single coil. I've actually uh, got both on. So who knows? Let's see. Let me try this. Hang on. Okay, it might be they've got the pick. They might have the switch up upside down. Not that it's going to make any difference, which would make this single coil, which it seems to be this humbucker. At least when I put the screwdriver up to it, both of them came through, so they were both working. It just made no difference in tone. So I maybe have to adjust them up and down a little bit, which would probably be down. And then going up one more. Um, 
there is a little bit of volume difference so they may have the switch in backward again I'll let you know and I will only be able to do that with annotations so if you don't have annotations turned on or you're on some mobile device then you're missing out if there is any update on it and I will tear it apart and try to get that on there real soon see what that is okay the other positions here's the two position um, so that sounds great get rid of my mic so more stratty sounding than anything I've played lately which it, <laughs> it's a flipping strat folks okay middle position four Position five. Okay, and position two with a little bit of crunch or overdrive. Uh, do that in the right key, maybe. <laughs> See. So it sounds groovy there. I mean, it's just a good sounding Strat copy. And it's made as good as Strat's, except for the turbo switch. <laughs> Again, I hope to figure that out. But it's been the same on every flipping guitar. So maybe it is just one of them flaws that suck ass the way they do. Okay. Uh, hey, let's try a good clean Fender Twin. <laughs> There it is. Holy shit. Okay, hang on. Love that spring sound. Not 
bad for a little uh, whatever box that is, the Johnson J station. <laughs> stock thing without it bending back and that's why I do use the half step up which is easy to get on most guitars but then I go another whole step so it's a step and a half bend and I use it all the flipping time check it out so I'll do and I'll do a half step and then I'll go a whole step above the half step after I already have the half step in place So there you go. That's it. That's the Predator Axe, folks. Uh, Dr. Groovy's.